Okay, let's take a look at some debugging. I'm going to bring up my grades broke one and open with notepad. And I'm um, going to go through make some changes here. Uh, e here. Give her this T. Give her that greater than or equal to. And uh, give her the T there. There we go. Save that. Now, um, let's first on debug this. So I'll right click on this and choose open with Internet Explorer. Now, specifically, the version we're working with is um, Internet Explorer 11. Okay. So if I come here, put in 90, 92, or 92, 95, 98, and I click calculate, nothing happens. If I come up here to the um, cog, wherever that's, where that little symbol is, and uh, choose uh, developer tools, you see it says press F12 also. So if I'm here, if I simply press F12, it brings up developer tools. Now, if I go to console, and then if I click uh, calculate, if there's some issues, and I may may see it. Oops, allow block content. I was wondering why I wouldn't see it any. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, 90, 95, 92, 93. Click calculate. Okay, it was disabled and forward. Okay. Navigation occurred. Now, see these little symbols mean different things. I'm assuming the I is informational. This is a warning. Doc type expected. Consider, consider using a valid HTML5 doc type. Hmm. Um, seems like I made more than two changes on there, but I only see two here. Now, you see it says gra grades broke one dot HTML, and it's got 27 and 25. And if I click that, It'll go to where my error is and see, oh, okay, I see I got a got an issue there. So I come back here and I do um, greater than or equal to. There we go. Save that. Come back here, refresh this. 90, 92, 95, 93. Click calculate. And if I go back to the console, it tells me um, calcule grade is undefined. And if I click that, it'll go to where my error is. Okay. On click, calculate. Okay, I spelled calculate wrong. Let me make that. I wonder if I can make that bigger. We'll see a zoom. Hopefully you can see that all right. Probably is a zoom in there somewhere. I'm not an expert at these uh, these tools, so keep that in mind. Calculate. Now you're sitting there thinking, well, geez, what, what line is 45? Now come over here, I have to count from the top. Well, if I could go to view and status bar, then, as I put my mouse on any particular line, it'll tell me line 21. That's line 45 right there. Yeah, and say, okay, that should be a calculate. So status bar is nice in that in, in um, Notepad. Okay, so let me come up here, refresh this. I forget what errors I even put in there, but I thought it was in the third one I put in there also, maybe the fourth one. Click calculate. Console again. Script does support, doesn't support property or method get element by ID. And if I click that, I see, oh, okay, that's a lowercase e and it should be uppercase e. So I come up here, put an uppercase e in there, save that, refresh this. 92, 93, 90. 
click calculate got another error so go to console and it says unable to set property value undefined null reference what in the world does that mean sometimes the error messages are pretty be pretty clear and sometimes they won't be if I click that though it comes here doesn't really tell me what's wrong um, I can see percentage is spelled wrong so you know, that might be a clue right there always check your spelling uppercase and lowercase you know, like if that's a percent percentage there then come down here and see if it's percentage or uh, whatever it's referencing okay save that come up here refresh this 93 90 uh, 89 95 click calculate and work that time and then if I come down here to the console I see my warnings um, and uh, then the nav this uh, informational navigation occurred. Now you can right click on these and uh, if you don't want to see the warnings, you can shut off the warnings. If you want to see messages, you can shut them off, log, errors you probably want to see. If you're wanting to send this, if you right click on it, see how it says copy item. So if I copy the item. See, it puts your um, doc type expected. Consider using the valid, uh, so forth. Now, don't uh, don't copy this and email that to me. I won't know what that means. Um, I have to actually see your code. Uh, so, if you're having trouble with your code, you cannot figure out after debugging. Send me the code, and then I can uh, take a look at it and, and uh, figure out what's going on with it. Now. People have asked me questions up to now. I've just done it pretty much manual. I've used some alerts, um, but I want to start using the debugging more on uh, future uh, future questions. Okay. Now that's our first one. So let's go change our second one. Grades broke, and I'm going to say open with Notepad, and um, I'm going to get rid of these else statements right here. Save that. I'm gonna right-click that and open with uh, Internet Explorer. I'll say allow block content if I do that the first time. 92, 90, 95, 98. Click calculate, and I get um, bizarre results. I can do an F12 to bring that up, or click settings over here and choose developer tools. Now we'll go to our. If I click it again, you see in our console, uh, it doesn't tell us anything. It's curious, it doesn't tell us those um, warnings. Oh, I didn't shut them off. Interesting. Anyway, um, if you go to debugger, you see your code here, and you can scroll down and see your entire web page. You go to where your JavaScript is, and over in the little gray bar over here, to the left of like test one, I'm going to click, and it'll put something called a breakpoint. It puts a little red circle. Now to take a breakpoint off, you just simply click it again. Now a breakpoint will cause it to kick out of that code when you run it. So up here when I click calculate, you see it looks like it's paused here. That's what that means, paused. And down here, it's uh, sitting here at this uh, this point here. Over on this side, you see your locals, and if I scroll down, you see some other items. Now I'm sitting here at this this point. If I um, if I put my mouse over test one, it says undefined. If I put my mouse over test two, it's undefined. Percentage is undefined or all undefined, and that's even what it says over here. Now, to go line by line, these are your tools that help you do that. Really, the only one I ever use in debug mode is this uh, right, one right here, Step Into, F11. So if I press F11, that goes down to the next uh, next line. And you see test, test 1, if I put my mouse over it, now it says 92, which it should, because that's what you put into the text, text box up there. 
And even more than that, over in this side, if I scroll down, you see how test one says 92. Now I can do F11 again, and it does the next line of code. F11 again does the next line of code, and you'll see it populate the values over here. F11, F11, and if I do F11 here, I'm not sure if it actually populated that. I'd have to clear that out to see, but it might not actually uh, populate it until the code's completely done. Now I'm sitting down here at my if statement. If I press F11, well, first put my mouse over percentage. It says 93.75. So I press F11, and I think, okay, that's, that's right, because 93.75 is greater than or equal to 90. It does that line of code. So now grade is now equal to A. comes down to this if statement. And if I press F11, it then tries to sign grade again. I think, whoa, whoa, that shouldn't happen. Um, I didn't want it to actually uh, do that, that code. So that tells you where you went wrong. Now, um, let's see, how do I get it to run? Just click the run here, and it continues running. There we go. Well, let me come over here then. And I see, okay, well, that should be an else. Can't understand what why my code's doing what it's doing. Else. Else. Okay, and that, that should fix it. Well, let's uh, test it and see. Come over here, refresh. Now, I don't show this uh, these tools to begin with because I want you to get used to looking at your code and trying to eyeball errors. It's a, If you're going into computer science, it's an important technique to be able to look at code and, and try to spot what's wrong instead of having a, a tool automatically tell you. Because you may not always have access to a nice little tool to point out your error. So I click calculate. Comes down here. I do F11, F11. Keep going through those. Comes down here to percentage. Greater than equal 90. Press F11. Does that. And then it drops down to here, where's, which is where it should be. And I know it's working. So then I can click this continue. F5 or F8. Fast continue. Not sure about that. <laughs> like I say, I'm not an expert at this. If I was going to be doing web design, web design where I use JavaScript quite a bit, I'd want to be very comfortable with all these different tools. I'd, I'd research it and see what's going on. Okay. Now, um, one last thing I really want to uh, show is over here in the emulation. See how it says document mode and 11 by default? You can choose... An earlier version of IE to emulate. So if somebody's using IE 9 and the, the web page isn't working right on there, you can come here and click 9 and emulate it. That's important so you don't have to sit there and install every uh, version of IE uh, known to mankind, people kind, um, but you can come over here and change it. Now I'm not sure what these other ones, browser profile, Windows Phone, I guess you can actually do these on Windows Phone and so forth. Um, but again, console. And then to close this, you just simply uh, do the X. And that's how you use some of the debugging tools available in IE 11.